Hunting ground. Let's go. Yay. Clock tower full, Joe. Again. Because the first recording botched because our recording stream device is a bitch. Yeah. Uh, if you hear humming, we... Enough about it. You... No. Stop it. <laughs> you harp on this every day. Not every day. You would if we did if we recorded every day. <laughs> Quality. You're not getting it here. <laughs> it just could be the capture card. It could be. You know who is he making that for? Oh, remember the soup that um Daniela was cooking? Oh, he might. It might have been part of the. Uh, that's disgusting. Nummy. Warman! Creepy vibe. Warman! <laughs> Quasimodo, the Pono. Quasi dildo. Quasi dildo. <laughs> <laughs> he may have a hunchback, but that's not the only thing that's big. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my! The only reason I'm not skipping this cutscene is because it only shows one thing of importance here. Oh, prepare for a lot of rapey overtones. Strong Christian overtones. That's why I said rapey overtones. No, that doesn't work. She's not ten. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, a choir boy! A choir boy! You are a fucking choir boy to me! A choir boy! <laughs> you know, it's a good thing Debilitas does not go fucking Voorhees on you. That might be a little low, so let me scoop this over. As yeah. if I'm not loud enough. And you are the loudest out of all of us. I just have a loud voice. I don't yell at people. It just happens. Didn't say it. You say you yell. It just said you have a loud voice. You're lucky that sheet hugs you tightly, otherwise it wouldn't leave much to the imagination. Yeah. Yeah, that is like the most form-fitting sheet ever. That and the towel from Until Dawn. <laughs> puppy! Me and puppy! Doggy! Must cling to the thigh. Must not show anything. <laughs> never seen, never clean! <laughs> she kind of looks like a... Now that we're looking at the, um... Like, visiting back the old games and all that, she has this, like, odd porcelain doll look to her. She kind of does. Like, she belongs in, like, a ballerina. Whoa, careful there. We almost saw Snatch. <laughs> like, she belongs in, like, a ballerina, like, outfit. Like, you know those creepy, like, ballerina? Yeah. Porcelain dolls. Dramatic climbing the stairs. Just to show that Fiona has a big ass. Mm-hmm. Apple cheeks and beer jugs. <laughs> Apple cheeks and beer jugs. What? What? She's German. They drink beer there. Piss beer. Oh yeah, and at times, if you're new to the channel, you'll hear a. Da, 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 da. That means the comment has been made by Fiona. But if you play hard mode, you get comments from another source. Huey? I was trying to not spoil anything. We're not going to play hard mode. You're the faggot that showed that. We're not playing hard mode. I might just play hard mode to show what it's like. Even if I just do it by myself. Oh god, why? Just because. <laughs> And they're going to costume change, so I'll costume change in that one. Go with the really good outfit. The illegal in some states outfit. Yeah, for this playthrough, we're just sticking to the normal build. My name is Fiona Von Streisel, and your safe word is Hoffenstuff. Click. <laughs> Click. I can't stand grandfather clocks. They, they would annoy me. Really? Having to listen to that from day in to day out. You're just asking for trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I find it common. When I used to spend the night... What? What is this? When I used to spend the night at um 
Mike's house, our friend, um, he had a grandfather clock, and I would, um, when I was sleeping in the living room, the grandfather clock would always be going. You know, she looks less of a porcelain doll in the, these cutscenes than the high def ones. Yeah. Maybe that's why they stopped using them. Maybe. Also, her hair actually got more dye in it. Don't go. On her shoulder, she has the mark of the undead. All <laughs> she's missing is the spiral. Fiona, you're becoming undead. And how did I get here? Yes, in the cutscenes, I have to clamp this sheet, but in gameplay, I can just run around with it. We'll keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. And by comfortable, I mean death! No, they need her alive. You spiked the fuck out of that. Yes, I did. <laughs> I miss sound recorder. What's wrong with this? I miss sound recorder. You miss a lot of things. Yes, I do. <laughs> I miss the 90s. <laughs> I miss the 90s. I did too. But just get rid of the school part. Yeah. Alright, let's get into our outfit. The only other time I'll switch costumes, maybe, is later on, or I'll just stick with what's given to us. Oh, it depends. Matt's in control. I'm not. Hey, that sounds like just about every haunting ground person in this game. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, to make sure Audacity doesn't record the gameplay audio, Robert can barely hear the game, but he said he doesn't care. Yeah, because I'm not playing, so I don't need I've to... I've got an earbud on my ear, just in case if I haven't told you enough about that. So, I don't need to listen to sound cues. That picture's moving. Take like a little wobbly. That's pixels. Nope, nope. Go back and edit it again. Pixels don't wobble. <laughs> Whoever did the mason work for this room did an odd odd job because he, he they chose like just one huge. Huge boobs, I mean, slab, <laughs> for like random parts of the wall, just massively like... <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that, just huge ass slab. Just... There's a couple lines of slabs, dude. Tutorial, cares. No, look at that. Yeah, like... see, look, there's, they're over there too. Yeah, just, uh, just huge ass like... <laughs> There you go. Got lazy halfway through his job. Actually, we're gonna go back over. Eh, it's almost pretty time, much time to cut this episode anyway. Seeing that this is basically tutorial land. Tutorial land. So we're just gonna go out here real quick and do some shit. Poke some butts. Maybe Fiona's. Ooh. Nah, there's no finger and butt. Coming. God damn it, Robert. <laughs> What? I was just making a joke, but you you just <laughs> took it to a whole nother level. Well, there's no command for that, so. I'm pretty sure someone made a Flash game where that is a thing. Of this game? Highly doubt it. This game was is not well known. You, you underestimate, you know. Um, I, I'm also going to try to use as much of the medallion power as I possibly can. Like, I'm actually going to try to use it without sucking. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Medallion power? Oh, you mean like the... the yeah, like to use the la oh. laboratory. Yeah. Keeping any mouse. Just the medallion process. Chamomile this. is really good. That replenishes your health. The, um, the medallions in this, uh, the medallion fusing whatever alchemy in this game Sucks. is. It, it, it's really bad. Oh, yes, it is. When alchemy is, like, the main, th one of the main themes to, to the game and the alchemy sucks, you did something wrong. No wonder, no wonder you're needed for, like, alchemic materials. It's because of the fact that he keeps sucking at the roulette wheel. Okay, come on. Come on. Yes. 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 
No! God damn it, I just needed oh, one yeah. more cherry! I don't know if I showed this in my previous Let's Play when I was still back at the Modern Day channel. You can actually use this TV here as a distraction to a be for a little bit. Hope the TV works. Just now. Change the channel, you dits. Actually, I don't think that TV would work anyways because it doesn't look like it has a cable connected to it. The back, Matt. The back. They connect to the back. You wouldn't see it. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do this one more tutorial thing and then we're gonna call it for this episode and then we'll just jump to the next part. Wait, there were tutorials? Yeah. We're gonna do the hiding tutorial next. Oh. And then we're gonna call it. But first, let's get scared. <gasps> Is this blood? Someone had an accident. Wibble wobble. Wibble wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. <laughs> Formulas, and here we're gonna learn about luminescence. Which Matt just blew through. Yep. Hi, something on the table! Lavender, that will reduce our panic, so that way we can calm our tits. Keep our sanity. Mm hmm. Cthulhu. Well, not really Cthulhu. And you think that Fiona's tits are ridic are like big in this? That we had a game we had a co we had a game shark <laughs> where the legitimate cheats, I am not kidding you, is to make her breasts bigger. Yes. And more bouncy. -o. Well, not bound no, they were just bigger. No, they added there was one called um like realistic physics or something like that. Which gave the girls more bounce in the game. Yeah, but we had to add that. That wasn't in the actual game game chart. Still, it's like, why? Hey, Debbie. Though, if I remember when we did that, the game kind of just like... They were just all over the place. Yes, they did. It was like an anime. <laughs> just all over the place. For anything. Ooh, no, he's supposed to suck on these nuts, not kick them. <laughs> but yeah, I've gotten to the point where I can actually fight these guys, like, semi no problem, but. Debilitus looks like the type of person that would use, like, memes in everyday life speech. Well, he's. he's dumb. Get. get hit point. <laughs> If, if I talked like that in like real life, now yeah, when you find orange text like that, you can hide. If I talked like that in real life, I'm pretty sure I would be slapped by more than like one person. You know, Debilitas likes to talk about good smells and all that, but he doesn't really use that as a like, I found you kind of thing. Cause he. He's really sniffing. But yeah, this is also most of the game where you have to just hide. Hope you like feet. Also, I'm also surprised. This game usually does not really rely on jump scares. It, There's a few instances of jump scares, but they're not, like, everywhere. This is around the era where, like, horror games want, like, boo, jump scares. It was like, you know, let's generally make a creep me at- I'm not doing- I'm not coming out until the music comes back. Let, let's generally make a creepy atmosphere and, you know, stuff like that. Granted, a lot of the times the story kind of took a backseat, but- Eh, it was just a cliched B film. But, yeah. Um, we all- That's how I see Haunting Ground. It's a cliched B film. We all can't be Fatal Frame now. The only game, besides Resident Evil 1, that made Matt go, Nope, I don't want to play this anymore. 
And then Resident Evil 3 happened, and I'm like, come at me, bitch. Also, in this playthrough, we're not also, we're not also going to try to grab the special items, because that, that just would just make the game un t too much unfair. Oh, like the fairy earrings and yeah. the, uh, the goddess choco yeah. emerald boots. Maybe if I do a hard mode run, I'll just do that. I would, because hard mode is no fun. Yeah, it's really unfair. <laughs> Robot hammer in the sign, no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. It's about a uh, fifteen to one. Oh, right. All right. We're gonna leave this here and we're gonna call it. All right. Bye. Bye.